Hello, I'm Bobby Galuba with Ubitech.com. Today is Sunday, May 15th, 2016. And today I'm going to show you how to download and install NCH Debut Video Capture Software. This is a program that I use to make some of my videos that I'm filming on my computer. Okay, so instead of pointing my video camera at my screen like I'm doing now, since I don't have any video capture software on there, this program will allow you to capture the pure image from your monitor and it won't look like you're pointing a, a video camera at it and it'll be a fairly good quality as well and then it just saves the video to a file that you can edit and make changes to. So the first thing you want to do to download NCH Debut is to go to their website and I'm using Mozilla Firefox right now as my browser and their web address is www.nchsoftware.com and you want to go to forward slash capture and this will take you to the download page for NCH Debut. Let's see here, we'll probably go ahead and use this link right here, the one that says download now. I'm going to single right click on the link and then I'm going to single left click on save link as okay <clears throat> now in instead of putting it in the default downloads folder that I have here on my computer and I also like to note that I'm using Windows XP and Windows XP has been unsupported by Microsoft for quite a while but I'm sure there's still a lot of people out there who are like me too cheap to <laughs> buy another operating system so this video is for how to install it on Windows XP but let's go uh, and single left click on the my computer icon and I'll double left click on local disk C. Let's try that again. Okay. And then I'm going to make a directory called utilities. I like to have a utilities directory to install my installation programs into. Okay, so we'll name it utilities. and then I'll uh, double click on the utilities folder and then I'll make another folder and I'll call it NCH debut installation program now the way I like to name my f files and folders is I like to have no spaces in the uh, file or folder name and I like to begin each new word with a capital letter okay so in this case I have capital NCH and then capital D for debut capital I for in installation and then capital P for program but you can name it however you like I've just found that not putting spaces in the folder file names help sometimes when you're writing batch programs or other scripts okay so let's double click on that directory that I just created and then we're going to save the debut setup.exe file into that directory. Okay, so now let me go ahead and I'll uh, go to that directory. Now, what I can do is I can single left click on this little arrow right here in Mozilla Firefox. But what I'm going to do is, just in case you don't have Firefox, I'm going to single left click on start. Then I'm going to single left click on the my computer icon in the menu I'm gonna double left click on local disk C then I'm gonna double left click on utilities and I'm gonna double left click on NCH debut installation program so that's the uh, directory that I created before now before you install any program on your computer you wanna make sure you have an antivirus program that's up to date so I, before I started making this video, I updated my antivirus program, which I have AVG. So I'm going to right click on debutsetup.exe, and I'm going to single left click on scan with AVG. Okay, and this is just to make sure that there's no virus in the program. Okay, so it says no threats found, and everything looks good. But you don't want to assume that just because you're getting it from 
a well-known source that it's safe. So let's go ahead and we'll close that window. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to install the program. So I'm going to double left click on it. Now another thing to note is that it's best to have administrative privileges for your account on the computer. Otherwise you may have difficulty installing the program or you may not be able to install it at all depending on your permissions. So it's best to have administrative privileges for your account on your computer. So let's double left click on debutsetup.exe. All right, it's going to give me this open file security warning window. I'm going to single left click on the run button. Okay, here's the uh, software end user license agreement. I don't think anybody ever actually reads these, so, but you have to click on I accept the license terms and that radio button should be selected by default. If it's not, you can just single left click in the radio button and it should put a little green circle in there. Okay, then we want to single left click on the next button. <clears throat> and then it's going to say Please wait, debut is installing and will be ready to use soon. Okay, so it starts up automatically. And then as you can see, it's already capturing my screen. Okay. And then if you wanted to record your screen, you could click on click here to start recording. So let's just close it and we'll open it again. So single left click on the start button at the bottom left hand corner of your screen. All right. Now let's go to all programs. And then as you can see here, it says debut video capture software. And then we'll single left click on that. and then there we go there's the program again okay so let's close it and ideally the best thing you want to do before you start using a program is to shut your computer completely down um, I prefer to shut it all the way down and not just restart it because I've had I have had instances in the past where just restarting it uh, caused problems so I've always found that it's best to completely shut your computer down and then start it back up before you start using a program okay so let's just close it and okay so they also have a little special offer to buy now and save up to fifty percent so I don't think I'm gonna buy it but uh, I'll go ahead and I'll try using it because I believe they allow you to use it for non-commercial purposes for free again this was a video showing you how to download and install NCH debut video capture software and you can use it to capture video of everything that's going on on your computer screen as you're working. So thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. Take care.